I've just received an email from the Barcelona board. Wonder what could this be about? Hello, Mr. Cedinho. We've lost faith in Xavi and hence we've sacked him. We believe you are the right man to lead Barcelona and hence want to offer you a contract. Wait a minute, boys. Am I going to be the next Barcelona manager? I think I might need to channel my inner Pep Guardiola as well. Okay, that doesn't mean I'm going to be balding. But before we get all excited, let's take a look at the contract. Ooh, it says the goal is to win the Champions League, which makes sense because Barcelona have not won the Champions League since 2015. Oh, it also says that our budget's going to be very limited for the next few seasons. And I guess it's because of Barcelona's financial situation. Oh, and there's also going to be a lot of pressure on us because this is a three-year contract. And if we don't win the Champions League in these three seasons, I'm going to straight away get sacked. And that will completely ruin my managerial reputation. You guys are going to call me frauds if I end up getting sacked. But you know what? It's my dream to manage Barcelona. We're taking the job, sign the contract, and it's time to begin our journey to bring Barcelona the Champions League title. Here we go, guys. The Barcelona career mode is back on the channel, and I couldn't be more excited. And this time, we're doing things differently. This is episode one, but it's going to have the entire season. So all the drama, all the ups and downs, everything's going to be in this episode. And hopefully by the end of it, we could maybe even win the Champions League. Oh, man, I'm looking at this Barcelona on a team and I'm absolutely ready to manage them because look at the players we've got Frankie de Jong, Pedri, Lewandowski, Ronald Araujo, a youngster like Balde and who can forget possibly the next Messi, Lamine Yamal? I know we've got three seasons to win the Champions League but I'm gonna try and win it in this season itself because I think we've got the team to do it especially if we can make a few improvements for signings because I'm looking at this team and we do have a few gaps like Oriel Romeo at CDM. Nah, he's got 43 pace. It's like having Sergio Busquets without the talent. I think that's a bit harsh on Romeo. But nah, man, he's not good enough for this team. Also, since Pablo Gabi suffered an ACL injury, he's going to be out for the entire first season. We're not going to be able to use him at all. Signing a CDM, I think, has to be priority for us. Wait, what? Our budget is zero? Are you actually joking? Nah, it's, it's literally zero. I knew we were going to have a super limited budget. It said that on the contract, but I didn't expect nothing. Okay, I think I've got an email from the Barca board regarding this. It says that Barcelona are close to bankruptcy, but the club are trying their best to raise some funds. And towards the end of the trans window, they might be able to give us a small budget to make maybe one signing. Bro, have we made a mistake joining a broke club like Barcelona? Because taking them to a Champions League without any transfers, it's going to be challenging. Especially with Gavi out injured and not much depth in the attack too. We don't even have a backup striker. You know what, guys? The board have said they will give us some money towards the end of the window. So let's just trust them. But for now, La Liga is approaching quickly. First game of the season, we're playing against Hetafe. And I guess let's just use this opportunity to get to know our team more, figure out the tactics and all we want to use. One thing's for sure, boys, we're Barcelona. We've got to play the tiki-taka play style. Formation-wise, it's got to be a 4-3-3. That's what Barcelona are so good at. And I think we've got the players to make this work. Like, assessing the squad, having Araujo and Conde at the back is just going to be a cheat code. Alejandro Balde as well. Jao Cancel Zello can play literally anywhere on the pitch, it feels like. But at right back, I think he should be comfortable. De Jong and Petri in the midfield is awesome. I'll be honest, I am a bit concerned about Robert Lewandowski because he's going down in his overall already. We haven't even played a game. He's 34 though, so that definitely has me worried. But rest of our attack looks solid with Rafinha and Lamin Yamal. Now we got my boy Jao Felix as well. I think he's going to be unreal for us. But here we go, guys. I'm making my debut as a manager for Barcelona. We weren't allowed to to make any signings, but this might be an opportunity in disguise. Let's get a feel of this team and see what we can do. I'll be honest, guys, this team is just full of ballers. Cancelo, Pedri, and then we've got Alejandro Baldi on the other side. There's so much talent here, it's up to us to get the most of it. But yeah, I do miss Gavi a bit, but hey, next season he should be back after recovering from that injury. I hope he recovers well, but for now we've got Pedri trying to dominate this midfield, looking to move Looks for a pass for Felix. Ah, oh, come on. There's one problem, though, I feel this team has, and it's Oriel Romeo. I don't feel like he's doing much. And oh, we've given the ball away. Denied. Shots taken to Stegen with a good save. I'll be honest, guys. If we can replace Oriel Romeo, 
by the end of this window, I think we'll be in a good spot this season. For now, we've got to focus on trying to get a win over here because it's the second half and we're yet to score our first goal. Maybe Robert Lewandowski can do a madness nope. for us as the keeper makes a solid save. There would be nothing better than a goal from a set piece and Lewandowski's header saved. Once again, trying to get it to Robert nope. Lewandowski and again, the keeper saves. Lewandowski in the air is absolutely crazy. Who's going to be the hero for us in match day one? Oh, it's Joe Cancelo with the header. Can't believe it. He scored that Alejandro Baldi with a peach of a cross. My first goal as the Barcelona boss. And the Cancelo goal is enough to give us our first win as Barca boss. It wasn't the best of performances, but we got the job done and three points on the board. Oh man, I really hope that the board will be able to solve all the financial issues and next season we'll be able to sign Cancelo on a permanent deal because he is incredible. I can say the same thing about Ja Felix as well. Guys, we just have a couple of weeks until the transfer window shuts and looks like the board still haven't found a way to get me some money. All we can do for now is just focus on getting the best out of this team. And also for our next game, I've made a few changes I want to test out Lamine Yamal. There he is, Lamine Yamal. Oh, he does feel really nice on the ball. That's for sure. He's got a good pass on him as well. Could Felix do something from here? Goes for goal. And there you go. First goal for Jao Felix. It's hilarious how the two goals we've scored so far have been both scored by lone players. As I said, I'm really hopeful the board can get some funds because I want to sign quality players like them on a permanent deal. 16-year-old Lamine Yamal. Look at him dribble against this Cadiz defense. Goes down inside the box earns us a penalty. Robert Lewandowski could literally close this game for us here by scoring. And is he going to do it? Of course he is. Lewandowski doubles up our lead. Guys, we've won our first two La Liga games. And we've got just four days now for deadline day. But the board just hasn't given us any money. Hopefully by the time we're done with this game against Villarreal, the board will give us some funds because we need to make transfers. No, we've been opened up here, Morales. And oh, it's off the post. We're super lucky. This is the toughest opponent we've faced so far and we're really feeling it without a quality cdm somehow we've avoided conceding ball comes in oriel romeo you've got to win that no it's instead to stegen coming forward and saving us but yo this pressure from villarreal I'm, I'm really struggling right now we need to get the ball off them but we can't and villarreal take the lead i'll be honest boys romeo as a starter it's it's not it we need to find a way to get some money to replace him for now let's focus on just getting the win here Lewandowski doesn't really have the crazy pace he once had but he's still going, he's still going, but no goal for him. I don't know, Lewandowski, apart from that one penalty, hasn't really done much for us. Rafinha showing a bit of pace, finds Robert Lewandowski, and this time at least he gets the goal. I'm so glad he's actually scored. It's going to do wonders for his confidence, which I think was getting a bit low. But even Lewandowski's goal wasn't enough to get us the win. We've got to settle for a draw here against Villarreal. And it shows that we need to still invest money into this team to make it better. Okay, guys, we finally got an email about our transfer budget. Oh, and it looks like, yes, we are getting some money to spend. But guys, we are on transfer deadline day. We gotta be quick. Martin Zubimendi might be perfect for this position. 24 years old, 80 rated. They're calling him the next Busquets around here. And I think we should be able to get him for like 35 to 44 million, which seems rather reasonable. And here we go on deadline day. We're trying to sign Zubimendi. Let's put in an offer of around 30 million. Wait, wait what? Guys, our budget's only 15 million? That's all the Barca board have managed to give us. And of course, it's not going to be enough for Zubi Mendy. We've been kicked out of these negotiations. Bro, we're just 15 million. There's absolutely no one we can sign. And hence, we're just getting through deadline day. Fair to say we've got a big challenge ahead of us, boys. We can't improve this team this season by the looks of it. We have key players like Gavi injured. Somehow, we need to fight through and help Barca win La Liga as well as the Champions League. And I don't know if we can pull this off. I guess we're going to have to just deal with this situation situation as a challenge. And I think I have an idea. What if we use Frankie de Jong as our CDM and then we can have Gunto Gan as a starter? Wouldn't that be a lot better? What did I think of this earlier? We're heading into our next La Liga game against Osasuna and I'm curious to see if a trio of Frankie de Jong, Gunto Gan and Pedri can work and already it's looking like they can. Gunto Gan finding a bit of space and oh forcing a save. I'm telling you we might have made a mistake at the start by not having Gunto Gan in the starting 11. No. No, no, no. We might actually concede. That's brilliant defending from Araujo. I'm telling you, man, our defensive Araujo and Conde, they're so good to have at the back. Not gonna lie, I do feel sometimes our attack, it just, I don't know, it gets a bit lazy. Lewandowski's movement is really dodgy at times. And Pedri has made a great run, and what a finish from Pedri. I had no idea Pedri had that kind of a volley in his locker. 
Jamal looking for Felix at all. That is absolutely brilliant from Barcelona. That's the kind of football we want to play. Look at that boy spit top of La Liga right now with 13 points, no defeats. And a big reason was that our midfield absolutely clicked. I know De Jong doesn't like playing in that CDM position, but he's going to have to sacrifice a little bit for the team. Oh, meanwhile, our Champions League journey is about to begin and we've got Royal Antwerp as our first game. But wait, what am I seeing? Robert Lewandowski has suffered a broken toe injury? No. That's our only strike. If one player we didn't want getting injured, it was him. The board didn't give us money, and now we're dealing with crazy injury issues, man. I don't know how we're going to replace Lewandowski. I guess Ferran Torres can play as a striker. We don't have a choice. He's going to have to play there. That's two massive injuries that we're dealing with. Not going to lie, not having Lewandowski does worry me a bit. I know he was not in the craziest of forms or anything, but still, he was a presence of a lot of experience in our team. So it's going to be tough to deal without him, but we do still have quality players. I think players like Ja Felix are going to really need to step up. Without a striker, guys, we really are struggling, but somehow our defense is still coping with everything, but we don't have a way of scoring goals, it feels like. Somebody's going to need to step up, and I'm wondering who it is. Could it be Lamin Yamal, who's got a bit of a knock, but he keeps going. He keeps going, and Lamin Yamal, with a brilliant goal, announces his arrival at Barcelona. I'm just worried about his injury status, because did he have a bit of a knock? Yeah, I think he's holding is muscle or something. I think we need to get him off. We cannot risk an injury to Yamal as well. Like, come on, these injuries are absolutely destroying us. No, 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 no. We do end up conceding in the Champions League. Uh, this is the competition the board want us to do really well in. And this is where we've got all our problems arising in. No, 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 not one more. To Stegen with the save. And that's two big saves that he's just made. Fair enough. Oh my god, what have I just done? A shocking defending! I can't believe it against Antwerp. We've let them do this to us. Unbelievable. Like, oh my days. I, I can't believe what's just happened. We've just lost at home in the Champions League to freaking Royal Antwerp. A bunch of twerps. I can't believe it. To make things worse, we've just lost our first game in La Liga this season. Okay, guys. How have things gone from being so good to now so bad? We're fifth in La Liga. Suddenly we've lost a couple of games now it's crazy in the champions league our next game is against porto and if we lose this we're gonna be in a terrible spot in the group porto are not gonna be easy as well i've got to first figure out a way to play without a number nine and i'm thinking the only way we can do it by maybe opting for a bit of a tactical switch to like a false nine with the jao felix as the center forward maybe we're gonna have to trust lamin yamal to be a starter on the right side rafinha on the left a lot of tactical changes but we've just got to hope it works bro we're literally in match day two in the Champions League and it feels like we're playing a final. Can we not concede first? Like, that would be just catastrophic. We somehow get the block in. But already I'm feeling the heat away against Porto. Lamin Yamal looking for Rafinha who's actually burst through. Go on. Rafinha's got the pace. Still Rafinha. Goes for a cheeky chip. Oh, that's audacious from Rafinha. And I'm so glad he pulled it off. Credit to Lamin Yamal as well for the assist there. This is a must-win Champions League game, boys. One goal is clearly not going to be enough. We need to get another one at least to just feel a bit more secure. Maybe Felix nope. could get us that. Uh, I really want him to score in this game, boys, because that'll be big for his confidence, because for the next few months, he's going to be playing in that striker position. Oh, no, but first we got to worry about not conceding. Araujo, that's a bad one. Yellow card. We're so lucky it's not a red. Oh, let's not concede from this free kick, please. I will legit cry if we do. Galeno, I I've never heard of this guy. He's not going to score, for sure. Not even this guy. I, I, think, I think we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. <laughs> There you go. Told you so. No, 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 Ronald Araujo. He's got to be careful, though. He's on a yellow, but so far, defensively, he's done his job. Gundogan, Champions League winner. Having that quality is really helping in the middle of the park. Looks for Pedri. Pedri for a boss for Felix. Oh, that's so well worked, but Felix. What was that for a finish? That's where we're missing Robert Lewandowski, honestly. No, 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 no. We can't afford to concede. Araujo saves us yet again. This game, we're literally surviving. Here goes Lamin Yamal. Still Lamin Yamal. It's nope. really well worked, but the finish. We're really lacking finishers in the box. Rafinha. Inside for Felix, who's controlled that one really well. Still Ja Felix. Fake shot. 
Keeping hold of Finn. Has Pepe on his toes. Felix again. The keeper saves. All we need is one more goal and we'll have a secured result. No, 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 no. We're not conceding. Just stay again, you legend. What a save from him. You know what? Forget about the goal. All we need is to... <laughs> no. We concede in the 77th minute. Champions League. We're getting humiliated so far. Bro, it could get even worse now. We might actually concede another one. I can't believe it. I legit can't believe it. 2-1. Porto dominating us. I, I I can't. I legit can't. Not much time left, but Yamina's trying to get us back into this game. It's so well worked. That was one hell of a goal, I'll tell you that. Rafinha scores it. We've at least got ourselves a point from this. No, 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 no. What is this defending? I can't believe it. Porto have embarrassed us in the 90th minute. I cannot believe this. That was the last kick of the game. And we've just lost back-to-back -back Champions League games. I'm, I'm legit shocked. Bro, this is actually crazy. We're now in a situation where our next four Champions League games are absolutely must-win. And we're dealing with an injury crisis. And our Champions League form is affecting our La Liga form too. Just look at this. We've now dropped down to sixth in La Liga after 10 games. The problem is clear. We, we don't have any goal scorers, or at least that's what it feels like. Let me just check. Who are our top scorers this season? Yup, it's Jao Felix with four. And Lamine Yamal at the age of 17 is carrying this team with four goals and four assists. The worst thing is there's nothing we can do with 15 million in the bank and the fact that the transfer window is shut. We're just gonna have to try and survive. You know what? Let's approach things game by game. We're playing Shakhtar Donetsk. Must win Champions League game. Let's win this and then think about the next game. De Jong, what a ball that is for Ja Felix and he makes it count. Let's go boys. Felix with the goal. Felix again, he's really upping his game now as he gets another one. That's more like it from Ja Felix. Oh, what is this defense? Defending and oh no, we've let them score. I thought this was going to be a simple win. Balde looking for Ferran Torres now, Felix. He misses, what? And also, did I see Gundogan just lying there injured? Bro, what is our luck, honestly? A knock like this could be serious. Because I remember, I think I had one with Lamine Yamal, but he was able to run it, so there was not really an issue. But I don't want to take a chance, man. So I'm going to sub off Gundogan. And the only sentiment we've got on the bench, Fermin Lopez, 64 rate. Did Barca wonder kid? I guess we gotta give him a chance. Oh, Fermin Lopez. Are you actually kidding me? He's gone through. Fermin. Oh, he almost got an assist there. There's something about these Barca wonder kids, man. They're always extremely talented. Oh, look at the pressure Fermin is putting. This guy is just running his lungs out. And look at him defend. He's, he's giving it everything. Guys, that injury to Gundogan might have found us a really nice player in Fermin. Because he's actually playing really well. Pedri now. Driving the ball forward. Ah, but the cutback was missing. No, 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 no. 90th minute we concede. Unbelievable. I legit cannot believe this. This is genuinely embarrassing. I was hired to win the Champions League for Barcelona. Instead, I think we might be out in the group stages itself. That was the last kick of the game as well. I genuinely have no words. What is happening here? Bro, everything's going from bad to worse because Gundogan is going to be out for like four weeks. I guess I'm gonna have to play Fermin Lopez, but look at the amount of injuries. This injury crisis that we're going through. I've never seen that in career mode. I'm looking at our Champions League group, and honestly, it looks extremely unlikely that we'll make it out of this, which it's unbelievable, honestly. But there are three games left, three finals. We'll give it everything. But before that, in La Liga, we've got an El Clasico coming up. And in La Liga, too, our form hasn't been great. The truth is, using a makeshift team has not been easy. But you know what? Maybe in a classical, if we can somehow make it work, somehow get a result, that will give us enough momentum for the Champions League. Oh, and also, first El Clasico, and I'm starting Fermin Lopez, who's 64 rated. Can't believe this is happening. What a chance this is for someone like Lamin Yamal to be a hero in a Clasico, no. but that Real Madrid team is not going to be easy to beat. No, no, no. Jude Bellingham has gone through to Stegen. We got so lucky. Bellingham had a pretty horrendous first touch there. Oh, Lamin Yamal looking great. Massive chance, and oh, Rafinha just got taken out there. We're getting a free kick, I think, from the edge of the box. I wish we had Leo Messi in this position. Who is a decent free kick taker, yeah? By the looks of it, it's, it's Lamin Yamal. 81 free kick accuracy. Since when has he learned how to take free kicks? Bro, if Lamin Yamal scores this against freaking Real Madrid, that would be just an outrageous moment. 
horrendous. But Laminia Mal on the rebound. Nope. Laminia Mal, and this time he might take his opportunity. He's going to look for the cross at the back post. Felix, let's go, boys, in a classical. Ciao, Felix is him. He's literally been the main guy for us in all this injury crisis. Come on. Honestly, it's been an extremely hard fought game, and one player that's been giving everything in this classical, it's Fermin Lopez. I don't know how he's doing it, but tremendous so far in midfield. Now, Vinicius Jr. and Real Madrid get themselves back into this one. It was going too well. Too good to be true is the best way to put it. But you know what? I think we've put in a good performance so far. I think we can still win this. We just gotta keep believing. Oh, Felix? Felix again. Ciao, Felix again. Ciao, Felix. No. This is where I regret not having a proper striker in that position. No way. No way. Jude Bellingham almost just crushed our dreams. Real Madrid have been caught lacking. Real Madrid have been caught lacking. We might be able to take advantage of this. Lamine Yamal in a Clásico. This could be huge. I cannot believe it. He scored in a Clásico. Lamine Yamal. This might be the biggest moment in his career. And he celebrates with a backflip. That's okay. Lamine Yamal. Probably the youngest goal scorer in El Clasico history. Madrid take this one shot. Vinicius is cornered to Stegen. Why did you come flying in like that? He could have maybe caught it. And we're back to square one. Oh, I really thought we were about to win in El Clasico. Ah, oh, full time and it's a draw in an El Clasico. First El Clasico as passer manager. I think we could have won this. But you know what? Got to take the positives, man. It's not been a good time for us. We're dealing with an injury crisis and we still came away with the point. I'm hoping this gives us the confidence to somehow salvage something in the Champions League. Definitely the draw in La Liga doesn't help our La Liga ambitions, but the way we played against Real Madrid gives me hope that maybe, just maybe, we can make a comeback in the Champions League, but we need to win our next couple of games. Looking at this Champions League table is making me sad. The only way I'll feel a bit better about myself is you guys subscribing to the channel. Trying to hit a million subscribers and I need your help, so please subscribe. No, 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 no. Not again. If we lose this game, we're out of the Champions League. Guys, I know we don't have a striker. I know our midfield has got Femin Lopez. By the way, he's doing a good job, but still, so many injuries. But none of it's an excuse. We have to get out of this Champions League group. Rafinha's trying his best as he goes for a cutback. As Felix, I cannot believe that does not go in. Rafinha down this left side. He's actually broken through. I think they were expecting a pass. Rafinha, he's put it wide. Oh my days. Bro, I swear Rafinha, he's just, oh. We need to score fast if we want to be alive in the Champions League, but none of our players are able to do anything. Lamin Yamal, I can't blame him because of his age, but, oh. It's over. We're legit out of the Champions League. Four games played in the group, we've lost three. This is genuine embarrassment. And yes, we're actually out of the Champions League, finishing last in the group. We did win our last couple of games, but what's the point? I cannot believe that we've legit finished dead last. That means we don't even get Europa League. Bro, this is just embarrassing. And even in La Liga, look at how bad things are. We're not even in the top four. And I was expecting this from the Barca board. They're extremely disappointed. If we had the money to terminate your contract, we would do it. That's legit what this email says. Oh my days, we're lucky we've got a three-year contract. Contract. The only bit of positive news I have is that we're now in January. Robert Lewandowski is back from his injury and so is Gundogan. So that's going to give us something to at least work with. We've been struggling for goals and I'm hoping this can change things. Our team definitely looks a lot better with the players back from their injuries, but still we could do with more improvements with some signings. We've not made a single signing yet. Bruh. One million extra. That's what we've got in our budget right now. 16 million. Who can we even sign with this? And I don't think I can even ask the board after what we've done in the Champions League. I guess we're gonna have to just somehow survive with this team until the end of the season so we can build for the future. And you know what? We've got the Spanish Cup resuming. Round of 16 against Sevilla. This might be a great way to just get some momentum back and get the likes of Lewandowski and Gundogan back in some action. Instantly, the difference having a focal point like Lewandowski in the attack is just crazy. And look at Pedri going through. Should score, does score. That's what we need, boys, to just build up a bit of confidence because it feels like that's exactly what we lost and it cost us. One thing I'll tell you, boys, De Jong 
has made the CDM position his own, I don't think I'm going to play him anywhere else. So that kind of at least helps us cancel out a CDM signing. We don't need to do that. De Jong is him. Oh, the difference in this team with the, our star players back, man. Honestly, it's crazy. We should be getting a goal. Robert Lewandowski in the box doing what he does best. That should be enough to send us through to the next round of the Spanish Cup. Ooh, up next, we've drawn Real Sociedad. We've got momentum. I'm excited for this. No, no, no. Mark andre De Stegen with a back problem? A bruised tailbone? He's out for the next couple of months. No. Just when we were getting momentum back. Look at this. We clawed our way back to third in La Liga as well. Oh, this is getting so difficult with all the injuries, man. Iñaki Peña, we're going to have to trust him to help us win either the cup or somehow La Liga. I don't know if that's even possible. It kind of feels like the Spanish Cup is really our best chance of winning a trophy this season. Don't forget, we've got a 74 rated Iñaki Peña in goal. I mean, it's a chance for him to be a hero, but it's not going to be easy. Oh, and already a chance. And Peña with the save. Okay, he's starting to give me a bit of confidence. Lamin Yamal, that is brilliantly done from him as he looks for Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski cutting inside, looking for Ilkay Gundogan. Cut back, finds its way for Felix. Felix to Lewandowski. No, we can't miss chances like that. No, 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 we're so open right now. Oh my days, Peña again with the save. Oh, Petri, he's been so influential for us this season, scoring key goals and making key passes like that. Damn. Lewandowski has to, but he can't score. Lewandowski, since his injury, has felt like a touch short. You know, it feels like he's lacking that extra bit of pace and everything. Is age catching up to him? But he is still a fan. Fantastic goal poacher, and that's what he does. Even though he's not in incredible form, he'll still score. And that's what we missed throughout the first half of the season. Iñaki Peña coming forward, making the punch. We somehow clear it away. We're hanging on right now. Oh, that's a really dangerous ball. Iñaki Peña, what a save. Yo, to Stegen. I'm not missing him right now because Peña is doing everything for us. And there you go. We've actually won the game thanks to him. Honestly, guys, with Lewandowski back, Gundogan in the team too, it clicks. Yes we've lost to Stegen, but Peña is somehow doing a great job. We've now drawn Osasuna in the semi-finals of the Spanish Cup. I'm really desperate to win this and redeem myself, because my reputation as a manager has taken a massive hit after getting grouped in the Champions League. Go on, Ja Felix. Looking for Lamine Yamal. Robert Lewandowski. Or should I say Goldski, because he's going to get another one. There you go. Lewandowski. Honestly, I'm so glad he's back from his injury. No, no, no. We concede. Iñaki Peña couldn't stop that. That was a rocket. Not giving up, though, boys. We are going to make it to the finals of the Spanish Cup, no matter what. Yamal just waiting for the moment to unleash that pass, and he finds Robert Lewandowski. We know how good of a finisher he can be. Lewandowski, that's what's up. Oh, Pedri, absolutely magical from midfield. Still keeps going. Keeps going. Yeah. Pedri almost scored a golazo there. Lewandowski... Looking for Pedri. Sliding that one through for Lamine Yamal. And he gets one. That should be enough to send us through to the final. Pedri has been magical this game. And yes, guys, we've made it to the Spanish Cup final. Honestly, guys, if we didn't have any of the injury issues, I, I think we would have easily gotten out of this group. I think we would have won La Liga as well. Just look at the comeback we've made. In a season riddled with injuries, Lewandowski had 24 goals in 27 games. Just simply outrageous. But wait, right before the Cup final, I've got a message from Lewandowski. Hey boss, just wanted to let you know that I've received a massive offer from Saudi Arabia and I'm accepting it. Ever since I got that injury, I feel like my body can't do it anymore. So playing in a smaller league, I think makes more sense. But I'm still gonna give it everything until the end of the season. Let's win a trophy together. No freaking way guys, Lewandowski right before the cup final has announced that he's done. He's done with European football, he's gonna be leaving. I don't wanna even think how we'll replace him with the lack of funds. That's something we'll discuss later, but it's gonna be a big, big loss. For now, I'm hoping we can give him an incredible send-off by winning at the Spanish Cup. We take on Atletico in the final. 20 minutes have flown by in this cup final, and it feels like a complete midfield battle, but okay, if we keep it tight, I know we'll get chances, because we've got Lewandowski up top. Such an emotional game for Lewandowski. I'm sure he wants to help us win as he sends Lamine Yamal through on goal. This could be a huge moment for the youngster. Yamal, I cannot believe David boys, Lamine Yamal with an outrageous moment and he does a backflip to celebrate and celebrates with everyone else too. Let's go boys. At the age of 17, Lamine Yamal has just scored in a cup final. 
One thing's for sure. In future seasons, he's going to be that guy to win us trophies. Game is far from done, boys. 30 minutes seeing anything can still happen. It's a freaking cup final against Atletico. And already they're on the charge here. It's still in Yaki Pena and goal. He didn't have to do much there because it came off the post. But yeah, the Stegen is still not fit for this game. Oh, Jao Felix just got taken out. And I think I know why. He's on loan playing at Barcelona. So ah, it's, he's going to get a tough, tough reception here. But I'm really hoping we can see Felix score and shut the Atletico fans up. That would be honestly amazing. And he keeps going to try and do exactly that. Ciao, Felix. The keeper saves. Pedri. Oh, what a strike from Petri. That was almost a wonder goal. Frankie de Jong and Robert Lewandowski is in the box. What a header. We should be doubling up our advantage. Half time and I'm disappointed because although we're in the lead, we could have scored a lot more. I'm just hoping in the second half we don't pay for our missed chances. We need to try and wrap this game up ASAP. No, no, no. Atletico, please. Iñaki Peña. What a legend, man. When we needed someone to step up, it was young Peña. He didn't get a chance all season long, but look what he's doing now that he's got an opportunity. Second enough guys it's been super tight but we've got just 20 minutes to try and hang on but it's looking tough because atletico are on the charge cross coming in what a block from ronald araujo everyone's gathering around araujo and celebrating that block he's by the way our new captain and i can't wait to see how he leads us throughout the future seasons no no araujo made a big mistake Pena. oh my days Pena has just won us the car bro Iñaki Peña might be the GOAT. He's won us a trophy literally there. Unbelievable scenes. Yes, boys, we've actually won something this season. After all the carnage we had to endure, the injury problems, not having any money. But still, we won a trophy. It's going to be special seeing Araujo lift the Spanish Cup. A new era for Barcelona. I know we won the Spanish Cup, but it's still been a pretty subpar season. Losing out La Liga like this to Real Madrid. And also getting humbled in the Champions League. It's not not acceptable one year is already done of our three-year contract we've now got just two seasons to try and win the champions league the one good thing though is our squad developed a lot through the season we now know our team better than ever i mean just look at the season lamin yamal has had at the age of 17 it's bonkers pedri has been unbelievable too and next season we should see the return of gavi into that midfield which will add so much more because yep he's finally recovered from his injury if the board give us some money to invest i think we can build a team to win la liga as well as the Champions League. But that's going to be tough. And don't forget, Lewandowski is going to be gone. Felix is going to return to Atleti and Cancelo to Man City. We're literally going to have to rebuild a big part of this team if we want to compete for the big trophies. But after all the ups and downs we've suffered in this first season, we're going to give it everything in season two to take Barcelona back to the top. While you wait for the next episode where we'll be playing through season two, watch this video to keep yourself busy.